Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to this video. I don't know when this is being released because it is December and I'm trying to put out as much content for you as possible. So, you guys have been asking me to react to old videos for honestly the longest time and I've put it off and put it off and put it off. Probably because I feel a little bit like weird about doing it to be honest like I don't exactly watch my old content or anything so I wanted to watch some old content today we're gonna do the one video today and then we'll see what you guys think about this video and then if you'd like to suggest other videos for me to react to then I will happily do so so leave them in the description if you're interested now I did make a cocktail I'm gonna be totally honest with you so that I could probably gather up the kahunas to watch this because I I just feel like I'm gonna ick out a while ago I took a few suggestions on what would be a good idea to watch and I had a few different ones but I thought it was really really important to go back to like the beginning so that's like first houseplant tour first repop with me all that kind of stuff so today i'm going to react to the first ever repop with me i did and i honestly i didn't even call it repop with me <laughs> i called it plant with me it says plant with me repot house plants with me it's got 49,000 views that's quite nice on the 8th of december 2018 so it's like three years old and I can already see that I look way different. It's so cute. So today we're going to react to it. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm pretty sure someone told me that I did some, some bad things in this video. That's kind of why I picked it. So we'll see what happens. But without further ado, let's just get straight on into it. Ah, <sighs> Right. So straight off the bat, I can see that I'm in my old flat. I look a little bit different. My hair is honestly, it's, it's not bad. And I can see some plants from just way back in the day before I got into rare stuff. I think this was definitely before I got into rare stuff. So all of my stuff is reasonably common and it's kind of refreshing to see it actually. I'm kind of loving it. I don't know whose bananas they were. I don't eat those. Hello plant people, how are you doing? I hope you're having a great day. Today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I thought this video could just be a bit more of a chilled out plant with me, maybe I'll call it. So welcome to my <laughs> plant with me. I don't know where to start, if I'm honest. I'll start by showing you oh. what my plans are. So oh my god i'm so timid how timid how timid this was like at the beginning of my like youtube career so i am a lot less comfortable in front of the camera i would say disclaimer by the way this whole video due to my nature and how i am it's probably just gonna be me completely and utterly critiquing myself yeah you can tell i'm not very comfortable in front of the camera but i used to do youtube uh years ago basically i used to be a let's player so a, a gameplay youtuber and it's a lot different having like a little bit of your head in the side of a video that's like the whole screen, much like more what I am now than doing a full video like that. And I remember feeling like super uncomfortable generally. It, it took me a long time to get comfortable. I was going to divide this peperomia into two so small plants. <laughs> However, I have two plant pots here. However, I think, I mean, I've never don't. divided a peperomia before. Mm -mm. I don't know how it would go down, if you know what I mean. Probably shit. I also shit. think that if I did divide it successfully, it might look a bit weird having like massive leaves with, you know, in small pots. So what I think I might do is, I'm not gonna use these pots and I think I'm gonna try and propagate the peperomia. So we'll give that a go. Even though I have no idea how to propagate peperomia, I still don't, by the way. I don't even know if this worked. I think if I did do it, I'll have done it via a leaf. And I'm pretty sure that didn't go well because I don't remember it, so don't have rooting hormones so i'm i'm not necessarily expecting it to work but i'm gonna try that anyway Fair. um this is gus if you haven't seen him before he is my maranta by the way again to interject i do still have gus he's absolutely fine you will see him at some point i'm basically in the process of moving house in the next call it three months something like that so once i've moved and i've settled in i will do a new tour and i'll show you gus and honestly i'll be able to film in the house again because i'm aware that i haven't been and i know you guys ask me about that a lot so you will see gus and you will see whatever i have basically in the house um i may pull him completely out of his pot to see what his uh, situation is with his roots because i suspect with a lot of these things, I might actually have to trim the roots. Now, I know I'm probably going to get shouted at for that, probably going to get some hate, but I really think I'm going to need to because I only have pots of a certain size. Oh my god! Did I, did I actually do that? Is this the thing that people told me that was bad that I did? Tell me I didn't. Tell me I didn't. Oh my god. Why would I... Again, guys, new to plants. I've never been a botanist. I've never professed to be a botanist. I know people like to think I'm some expert. I'm not. I've just dealt with a lot of plants. That's basically the tail end of my expertise. Obviously, I didn't know anything, and I hope I didn't actually clip any roots because that's embarrassing as shit. 
When I bought these two uh, silver pothos, they were actually in uh, a container like this together. They but were. It just it never grew, and I just thought, you know, True. That looks a I bit remember that. I'm going to have a look at the roots, and the roots were fantastic, but there was just no space in the pot, so I uh, I separated them. I um I halved them, so. I will take that and put that there. One thing I'm noticing, and again, really sorry, this is Kaylee's like critique on herself, but I can't help but notice the difference in my editing as well. I haven't removed what we like to call in the YouTube space as dead air. Right, so when I say a sentence now in a video, I'm probably, this is probably chopped down, right? The gaps between what I'm saying is probably quite close together. It's quite choppy, it's quite punchy, it's quite upbeat. And for this video, it's not. Now, don't get me wrong, even now, for different videos, sometimes I leave the dead air in. For example, ironically enough, a repot with me, like this video here, I leave the dead air in. So dead air is when I say, I went to the shop and it was shut. That space between shop and it, so I went to the shop, it was shut. That is dead air. That's what we call dead air. A lot of YouTubers, and if you actually start watching your other content creators, you will notice that we remove that a lot of the time. And certainly a lot of the bigger YouTubers remove it. I remove it sometimes. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. If it's a repot with me, I like to keep it quite just as it is because I'm kind of talking to you guys and it just doesn't warrant it. But depending on the video, I will cut that out. I'm noticing a lot that I would have kind of removed in this instance. So there's one. I mean, I'm going to get soil everywhere. There's two, and here's the third. That's looking all right, and there's a little shoot coming off that one. I thought I saw a shoot. Yeah, I did. Here as well, a little white shoot. <laughs> it's getting like no light. So that's not too bad. Well, that's looking good. My goodness, I might have to trim that down. That's. You can so tell that I've just not handled plants before, whereas now I'm like throwing them around and I know they'll be fine. It's so cute. It's a bit ridiculous. Yeah, really good roots. Don't really, cut really them. Good roots. Can you tell how messy this is going to get? I'm going to now try and put the soil off to one side. They are going straight into. Where are they going in? A terracotta pot, because okay. why not? Um, oh my god, I want to show you some really cool that I bought actually from Amazon. Don't be buying from Amazon. People will accuse you of being Jeff Bezos himself. Don't buy from Amazon and promote it. Good dear lord, don't do it. Oh, I'll show you the soil actually while I'm on. Go on, show I just us the got soil. It from a local plant store. <gasps> I don't actually know anything about the brand. That's probably a bad thing. I don't yeah. Know. I'm sorry if I'm breaking loads of plant rules in not knowing, but I think it'll be fine. It will not be fine. You better be fucking mixing that. So I assume I'm using there just household potting mix, as in like that horrible, nasty cement stuff that just stays wet for eternity. I'm really hoping that I use that with something else. Otherwise, I'm going to kill whatever I've used it on. I don't really remember what happened to these plants. I assume I sold them, by the way. I don't know, but that's... No, if you're watching this, don't do that. Do not do that. I don't care what plant it is, to be honest with you. Do not do that. Mix it mix it. I have a video on soil mix. It's a little bit out of date. People ask me about it all the time. It's for an overwaterer. So if you take that mix and then you maybe take down some of the drainage in the mix, then it might be more suited to you if you're not an overwaterer. But don't be doing that. Oh, it's quite nice. Very fine texture. Yeah! I'm gonna use this to help shell out the soil if I can even... You know what? I can't even get it in. I can't even get it in. I grabbed all these implements. Implements? Make my life easier. It's not making my life easier. I was a very distinguished young lady. <laughs> I'm just gonna pour it in. I don't actually want to use the cactus mix today if I can help it, because something is coming. Um, early next week, I've bought a very special plant, and if you follow me on Instagram, you know what that plant maybe is, if you check the tags. I'm so excited about it, but I only have so much cactus mix left because I used it for my allocation. I know what it is. But I really want to keep the mix uh, for when that comes because I need soil like instantly available to pot it up. I'm going to do an unboxing when that plant arrives because it's a very special plant. Yeah, I, I'm so excited, I can't even tell you. So I know now from seeing this that I'm talking about receiving the Monstera Thai constellation that if I remember correctly, it was about this big. Um, it had like three leaves, they're all heart-shaped, no fenestration or anything. That, by the way, guys, was how I met Ben. So the reason I even know Ben is because I bought this very tie from him clearly in, was it, 2018? So I bought it late 2018. For some reason, I thought I bought it in 2019, but 2018. 
Um, that's how I met him. I bought a Thai constellation from him. And the Thai constellation is so special to me because it was the first rare plant that I ever owned. It was about £65 or something I paid for it back then. This was before Thais were like... I remember banging on about it because it was like the most rarest thing I'd ever bought. And, and that was a lot of money to me. And don't get me wrong, if you're buying plants... It is a lot of money. I don't care whether you have rare plants or not. It's still a lot of money. But it was like a real big deal for me because I was only still getting into plants. Like I hadn't had plants forever. I'd had them on and off through the years, but this was the first time that I went like seriously hardcore. So for me, it was quite a big deal. So yeah, something very special is coming in the mail and there will be an unboxing video. There will. And it will be so good. I'm scared actually because hmm. I've basically ordered quite a rare plant but I've never owned any variety of this plant before, let alone a rare version. I've never ordered a plant online before, oh. and I've never, you know, received any plants in the mail before either. I've also never spent that much money on a plant before. So I'm breaking like, not breaking, yeah, I am, I'm breaking records anyway. And <laughs> now I'm just gonna evaluate if I need to trim any of these, because I, I actually think I'm gonna trim that. What? Just so it matches with the rest. No. Please don't hate me for trimming anything. Are you fucking I'm serious? I'm not going to trim loads. <gasps> Obviously, I'm no, not no, no, going to no, take no, this. No, no, This. This. Or this. Don't hate me, YouTube. Don't hate me for doing that. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> No wonder y'all hate me. There's actually like evidence of me doing this on camera. Now, nowadays, I don't cut roots. The only situation where I'd ever cut roots is if they're rotted. Obviously, you should cut them. I have a full video. There's been an occasion where I've cut it where it just hasn't fit into, not a box for shipping, but it hasn't fit into certain requirements for roots for shipping. And then I'll cut them for that purpose. Um, that's kind of fucking crazy that I did that. I mean, I'm assuming I got a shit ton of, of crap for doing this. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna look at the comments to see if I've got shit for doing this. There's no way in hell that I did not get shit for doing this. Let's have a little look, shall we? Let's have a look at y'all comments. I've love hearted this one. Don't worry about root pruning. Bonsai people do it all the time. I did not know that, actually. Someone has to be bashing me about pruning the roots. Someone has to. There is no, no fucking way that no one gave me shit for this. Give me some shit. Give me some shit. So used to it right now, it's weird without it, you know what I mean? You cutting the roots made me cringe so bad, I'm not hating you, everyone makes mistakes, just want to know if everyone can relate. In all of those people, one person was like, hey, maybe you shouldn't fucking do that. What the hell? In a world, guys, where I can't breathe without haters, that's fucking nuts to me that I did that and no one said shit. No one said shit. Says a lot, doesn't it? Says a lot. That's eye-opening, quite frankly. That's eye-opening. I don't know what you guys think about that. That's that's fucking incredible. I'm having a go at me for doing it. Literally. Watch everyone will go to this video now and just write on it. Listen, don't cut your roots. And then there'll be comments everywhere. Oh my god. After this rare plant that I bought, I'm kind of on a no-buy. Which, if you don't know what that means, it's literally, I'm not supposed to be buying any more plants. I set that for myself. No one actually said, oh, don't buy any more plants. I started a shop like four months later. No buy went well, didn't it? Went real well. Um, my boyfriend's reasonably supportive of my plant addiction, I guess. I mean, it does need curbing because I have not many plants, I wouldn't say. But I did. the plants I have are pretty massive. So, you know, if he ever says they're overrun, then I have to go with that. You don't have to. But he hasn't said that. Um, he didn't. It's more to do with the plant I'm buying. I, uh, you, you'll just know what I mean when I get the, the new plant that's on its way right now, as it, as it happens. Oh, hell yeah! You know, I'm oh. gonna pour it all in. I'm, I'm excited all though. In. Come on, give me Guys, more of that. Give me more of that. 100 not how to plant Come plants. Come on. By the I've way. got a cocktail. Let's go. Um, so do not take this as any kind of instructional video because I am butchering this. More, 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 more. Yes. Also, I haven't put any more perlite Shut in up. the soil. What I like to do is I put perlite further down in the soil. And uh, as soon as it gets to the point where it's near the top of the... I know exactly what I'm going to say. I'm going to say that I don't put perlite on the top of the soil because I fucking hate the way perlite looks. And I do. And I always have. I still have. Thank God for liquor in the shop because I don't have to deal with that anymore. That's what I'm about to say anyway. The pot, I actually don't use perlite there because I don't actually like the look of perlite. I just think it makes the soil just look just a bit crap, really. A bit shit is what you wanted to say. Sorry, I'm going to have to turn oh, this round because I can't really see what this looks like. Oh, you know what? From the front, it's not that bad. It's a big plant. 
it's just the rest that is wouldn't mind one tell you what i'm gonna speed this up and i'm just gonna come back to you when i've actually arranged this in a way that i'm happy with go on in Hell yeah! There we go. Looks quite good, no, actually. I think that looks okay. It does. It's no, not it's the best right. looking, but I feel like in a few days it'll, you know... It looks fine. And I think I'm going to start pulling myself apart for this as well, by the way. Welcome to Overly Fucking Analytical. Okay, like, this is why I had the job I had, by the way. So this is an ex-programmer talking. So you can expect over-analyticalness in my comments. There's fucking nothing wrong with that plant, guys. <laughs> That's like Instagrammable. I don't know why I'm saying it's not perfect. What the fuck is wrong with me right now? Sort itself out. Should we up close? It's not, you know, it's not perfect, but it's, it's all right. It's fucking perfect. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Considering it's lived in separate pots, I think it looks reasonably cohesive. It looks okay, fine. So the next thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the Miranda <sighs> cuttings that I have and work Sorry. out what to do with Gus. This is a self-watering pot and I don't know the state he's currently in. This could be very interesting. I don't know how I'm going to get him out. I should have maybe have had a spoon, but a I don't. A spoon? And I'm mic'd up so I can't move. So this is going to be fun. The mic. I'll, I'm going to tell you about it because it's actually right next to me for another video. I'm on about the mic and not being able to move and I'm pretty sure, like, my brain is telling me that I used to mention that a lot in videos. I had, like, no money. I think my boyfriend bought me my camera for YouTubing for my birthday. Not long being my birthday. My birthday is the 10th of October, so the 10th of the 10th. And this is in the 8th of December. So it's a new camera, working all that out. Needed a microphone that was good quality because I'm all about that quality. You guys know this. And basically this lav mic, the, the little mic on here that's called a lav mic. And it was plugged into the camera on, like, a four meter <laughs> fucking wire you can get them really cheap from amazon actually i might link it down below just because for any aspiring youtuber that wants um a lav mic that's connected to the camera that it does plug in but you can move it's quite a good one but now i use these and i'm only showing you because they're literally next to me on the desk guys i've got a bunch of camera equipment next to some makeup next to all sorts on my desk if i use these now if you ever want to know what i use i suppose i could make a video on what i use i just don't know if anyone cares it's more for other youtubers i guess maybe for that but i don't know exactly what it's called but it's a set of like road mics and this one here goes on the camera and that reads out a little display and this one here is plugged into Ta -da! it plugs into there and that kind of stays on you and it wirelessly transmits from here to here and this is plugged into the camera with this so that's how it works and when i'm filming in the unit that's how i'm filming that's how i'm able to walk away from the camera and stuff like that sorry i know that's probably boring that's more like the people that want to start a channel or are youtubers anyway that's what i'm using that's not what i'm using today but that's what i'm using in general wow <laughs> is carefully lift him out my god so you guys are gonna hate me but i, I am gonna trim those roots i'm sorry but i am so you are fucking kidding me he can go like that but i think no he can't no he can't go like anything are you fucking kidding me there is nothing wrong literally why are we trimming the roots he fit into the pot he's not pot bound can someone fucking explain why 2018 kaylee thought it was a good idea to trim the roots <gasps> what the hell what the hell are you doing no really what are you doing no wonder people give me shit right for not having like a botany degree or something like that honestly i thought it was just fucking hate before but you know what on this grounds i'll give it to you because i used to be an idiot however what i will say is everyone starts somewhere so what you're really looking at i know i'm calling myself an idiot for honestly for satire's sake but really everyone starts somewhere and that's just hallmark of it it's hallmark of it. I can't believe I'm doing that. That's really embarrassing. It's really embarrassing. <gasps> oh, I'm a fraud. So I'm going to use a reasonable amount of the old soil. That I don't mind. Now that I don't mind. I don't mind using old soil. Honestly, guys, it depends how long you've had the soil for. If you've only had it in there three months, keep the fucking soil. Who cares, honestly? You wouldn't believe what I put my plants through at the unit. Like, honestly, you would not believe me. There's maybe two people that know what I put my plants through at that unit. Uh, you know who you are. Trust me. <laughs> you can reuse this shit. Within reason. Don't get me wrong. Within reason. You can reuse this shit. Like, people are way too sensitive about these sorts of things. Honestly. As I say, there are leaves coming in here, so I don't want to overgroup this. He's great. In the, uh, He's in the great. Top. You can see that in the viewfinder. Yeah. So I'm just going to do my best. Leave it like that. See if he adjusts his leaves accordingly and he just, you know, poofs himself up. There's Gus looking a lot more full. Yeah, it's great. Full of himself. <laughs> 
full of himself. Right. Oh, please don't get the same look. I have here. <laughs> Honestly, am I still just from me to you, right? And I respect any answer you're going to give me because I love you all and you're really respectful. Have I always been that critical? Have I got any better or am I still like that? Because I'm actually blown away by how critical I am. I'm very reserved, which I'll get onto a little bit later, or maybe I'll save it for the end, because I'm, I'm building up like a big picture of like how I was back then, but I don't want to like start going into it now. Let me know if I was always this critical, because I feel like I'm like hypercritical in this video. That's the one thing I'm picking up on, for sure. Yeah, I think that's it. As I say, I, say? I didn't have propagate a very special yeah. plant arriving I'm next the week. Today, as I said before, is the 8th. The special plants that I have arriving that I will not tell you about. If you really want to know, you can look at my Instagram. When this plant comes, if I can keep it successfully, I will be absolutely uh, passing out cuttings, whether that's <gasps> maybe selling them uh, eventually or doing giveaways with them. So pray with me and hopefully we will get this plant into one of these pots safe and sound in the next few days. So thank you very much. Oh my god. Nostalgic isn't the right word, but it's so cute to see me talk about plants that way. Like, oh, I've got this plant and I'm gonna like cut it when I can and like sell bits of it. And it's like, that's never gonna work with one plant. Not really. But like, oh, like I didn't have the inception of having a shop at this point, And you can totally tell, like, I'm just like, oh, I'd love to like pass it round kind of thing. It's so fucking cute, man. I'm so cute out right now. Let's see if I say anything else, because I think it's the end of the video. So, well, let's just see how I ended. Thank you very, very much for watching this plant with me. I'm sorry I didn't get too chatty. It turns out this kind of takes quite a lot of my concentration. Dead air. Yeah. I just want to say one thing very, very quickly. A few of you have been tagging me in pictures and things in Instagram. Um, I just want to let you know, I actually love that. That's great. I love getting tagged in something and going and looking at pictures of your plant and seeing what you've you got to say about them and commenting back and having a talk about them oh, i love that don't be afraid to do that i did Keep love that i just i really enjoy engaging with you guys so please feel free to tag me and stuff on instagram um that's my instagram right there let's oh, my, my old ig follow it please do so thank you very very much for watching please wish me luck in clearing all this up and i will see you next time bye okay so Honestly, on that, before I go into like my final thoughts and my final reactions, I really did, and I have to say it in past tense because you guys know I don't do it anymore. I really did enjoy engaging with you and seeing your plans and stuff like that. And it it's... <sighs> It's fucking hard, guys. I've had a really bumpy ride on the internet, as a lot of you know. I'm not going to go into it, don't worry. It's not one of those days. It's not a repot. And it's a real shame that I had to turn off DMs and stuff like that, because I, I miss that. I, I promise you I miss that so much. I think I was even talking to Ben the other day about that, and Ben was like, oh, you know, you could turn your DMs back on, and I was like, oh, could I, though? I don't know. I don't know how it's going to be if I do, and blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm open to the idea of it. I just think that they would be up for a week, and then I'd be turning them off again because people would just see it as an opportunity to just flood it, I guess, with shit. Anyway, back onto that. Uh, I really do miss doing that. And I, I want you to know that when I said that, I meant it. I've meant it all the way up to me turning my DMs off. And if you want to tweet me pictures and stuff like that, by the way, that's quite a nice way of doing it. I'm quite active on Twitter and I'm quite salty on Twitter, if you haven't put a notice. I'm a little bit more kind of uncensored on there. And if you ever want to tweet me photographs of stuff, you're more than welcome to. Maybe we should try it on there and see how it goes. And if it's it's good on there, maybe one day I can open up my DMs again and we can chat again. Obviously, I can't get back to everyone. Obviously, uh, things are a lot different now to what they were then. I mean, I, I don't even think I had 500 subscribers then. And it was very easy to talk to people and, you know... And it's not now, but I, w I would love to try. So if maybe we could try it on Twitter. Just try it. Let's see how it goes. Uh, if you'd like to talk to me, if you'd like to tweet me photographs, all the rest, then great. Right. My overall consensus on this video is, holy shit, I was an idiot. <laughs> and I don't mean that as being derogatory to anybody else. This is me being overcritical of myself. But I was a bit of a tool. And now I understand why everyone's like, oh, you don't even have any qualifications. It's like, well, no. But also, I was an idiot. Um, so if you want to roast me for cutting roots, feel free. That's no problem at all. I'll only laugh because this is embarrassing as hell. My overall thing, and I, I can only assume that if I watch more of these types of videos, if you guys want me to react to more of them, I can tell what I'm picking up on already. And that's just that I'm, a, I'm, it, this is so hard to explain because a lot of you obviously don't know me in real life. To a tiny minority of people that do know me in real life, you'll know that 
how I am now on camera is exactly how I am off camera. I've made a couple of friends very recently. You know who you are. You will know that I'm exactly the same on camera as I am off camera. There's maybe just slightly less swear words and some things I can say where on camera I can't say them. Here, I, I can't tell you how much I'm censoring myself, how much I'm pausing, how much I'm just not chilling out because I'm so hypersensitive about being on camera, what people think of me and everything else. And honestly, I'm pretty sure that any of you small YouTubers out there can totally relate to this video or to anything I'm saying right now, because that's how it is when you start. So it'd be kind of interesting to periodically react to different time points on my channel and kind of how I changed, because I know I made a pretty big shift in, I think, January 2019. That was like a big shift for me where I was just like, you know what? Fuck everything. I'm not being this version of myself anymore. I'm just going to be the person that I am off camera. And ever since then, I've done that. But I'm kind of picking up on this like uber reserved, oh, happy kind of thing. Um, it's both indeed funny and kind of sad at the same time because I've I've grown so much from this video um, if that wasn't painfully obvious uh, I hope it is obvious but I've grown so much and I enjoyed reacting to it guys so without going like too far down the rabbit hole thank you very much for suggesting that I react to this I'm very happy to have done so it was kind of weird seeing you know my old flat old me old teeth as well by the way because these are different now, they're much wider and everything, my my whole face looks a little bit different. It was kind of cool to react to it, so thank you very much for suggesting it. If you would like me to react to anything else, then please do feel free to suggest so in the comments. I'll be sure to take a look. Uh, I know what y'all are going to pick, I already know, because I've seen it a thousand times. But thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye!